today, since there is quite a number of demand on how are we going to actually engrave onto a metal. So I'm going to show you guys actually how are we going to use the F1 to be able to engrave on a metal. All right. So first of all, let's uh, get a text. All right. So I will just go into ranking. Okay. So ranking is uh, maybe 234 out of 400. This is just an example. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the size of this. Okay, so we're going to do it a very small one so you get the picture of it. All right. Okay. So the size is about, uh, the height is about 3 mm by 25. All right, so what we're going to do will be. Okay, first of all, how are we going to get the settings? If you guys are new to the XCS, right? So it's being made very easily for you guys. So first of all, we need to come into the material down here. Alright, so onto the material, we go into the, the material settings. So what I need is I may need to go into silver. Okay, so I go into the silver down here. Here, so basically you can be able to see the material settings is based on F1 2 watts. Right, so I basically what I need is I just simply I go into this for example, the oval text silver. All right, so you can be able to see the machine model is F1, the power is two, the it's basically IR, and these are the processing is score. But we want it to be engraved, so we click into the engrave down here. So if we click into the engrave, you can be able to see there is a chart down here. All right, so the chart down here, these are how the outlook of each and every one of them. So if you would like to get a dark image, all right, so basically you will actually have to go into this row down here. So basically, if let's say for example, I want to be able to using these shades down here, all right, so what you, they are very easy, you just have to click on, all right, so you can be able to see the power down here is 80, the speed is 20 millimeter per second. Okay, so what you need to do down here will be, all right, you can see the lines are 200 lines per cm. All right, so all is already explained down here is on the base plate. Okay, easily just go into open in XCS. You guys don't actually have to crack your head on what kind of settings to be used. So you can be able to see it is set at 80% power and the speed is 20. The lines is actually at 200 lines per cm. As you can see, it's actually highlighted down here. Okay, so what the, the next thing what we're going to do will be, all right, I will do the framing. Okay, so I will switch the camera. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you can be able to see the framing is down here. So because there is a live preview, so you can be able to see basically what I need to do is I can be able to highlight this. And if I move, if I move this, it's actually moving down there. Okay, so it's live preview. So while you'll be able to be able to um, move this down here the position it will actually uh, sets the position as well so because we want it to be maybe around down here so what we do is we'll just move and you can see it's moving okay so I get I hope you get the picture okay so that is the position okay it will start to engrave okay so I will stop the I will stop the framing Okay, I will stop the framing down here. Okay, and I go into process. Okay, you can be able to see it's down here, the text. Basically, it takes it's going to take about a minute and nine seconds. All right, so I go into the start. It's actually sending to the F1 machine. So I will press onto my, my foot pedal down there to start the engraving. So I'll just start it. Okay, so... That is, that is basically engraving onto the metal, alright? So, I can be able to zoom it. Okay, you can see, it's actually marking. Okay, so basically it takes about a minute and 10 seconds. So, we will come back and look at the finished product of it. Okay, so it's done. We will actually pick it up and we will see the 
okay so there you go so it's already marked okay it's already marked down here finally it's being done okay so very easily to use the material settings is being done so easily for you guys and you just basically just pick your settings and just plug and play more of a kind all right so i see you in the next one